Yee, beautiful. Thanks, Ben. So, here we go again. What have we, what we got there? So, a little bit of history on this one. Yep. There are only ever 1,500 ish of this model ever made. Wow. Only about 89 of them were made in Sunburst. Uh, so, you're holding one of very, very few. So in 1974, Les Paul's signature. Wow, I'm a two, it's 48 year old this guitar, you know? Wow, <laughs> honestly. It, wow. It, it shows it's wear, but it's a great guitar. Yeah, but it's 40, look at me, I've got weird 40. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm saying, it's like, come on, you know what I mean? It's 40 year old, 48 year old, of course it's gonna have weird. Run your baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get up play then. <laughs> Okay. Oh! Ah. Okay. So. Control wise, so you've got a master volume, master tone on the top. Underneath, the one that's not got a plastic ring around it, so the other one. That's a phase in and out, so if I'm in that middle position, you'll get in and out phase. Woo! That's bonkers, okay? Rotary level control, okay, and it changes the hertz. So you have 500, 250, and 50. Bonkers! If you turn that, it'll. So again, you have three more tones. Something gets a bit more gain than both. Yeah. yeah. are specifically Rodeo humbuckers designed by Les Paul to be both high impedance and low impedance dependent on the inputs because what you might not notice is there are two inputs on this guitar. Oh, There's one on the that. side as well. Oh right, okay. However, we believe the person that previously owned it detached the one on the side. So oh. the one on the top is the default should be the low impedance right. but I believe they've rewired it so that's just high impedance all the time. Okay. So all guitars, strings are slightly weird on guitars. It's really yeah. it's going to be real that we'll pick a guitar off the wall and its strings are absolutely brand new as if you're yeah. doing a gig. I mean, these strings are probably what I'd say 80% there, 85%. Yeah. And it's still. Imagine putting new strings on. I mean, not, not that it's in any way, shape, or form to really the guitar not to shock new strings on it for a video, but I think it's really honest, you know what I mean? It just sounds so alive. <sighs> Dear, we press the distortion button. <laughs> I'll talk them. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thing. 
was talking about with the fingers in it. It's yeah. just like, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> It's a Les Paul. <laughs> Does it sound different to a Les Paul? Yes and no. It's still got that sort of, um, for me, that sort of. Guitar into it. For an old guitar, yeah. it's really versatile. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that uh, in a way that, because old guitars were either sort of the Gibson, what that, that Gibson did, that a Fender would do what Fender does. They never really, do you know what I mean? But this is kind of in between, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah, my guitar collection just got even better. <laughs> <laughs> 